Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learn-information.com Today in this lecture we are going to talk about how you can use XPath with Cypress Now in the previous lectures we have seen uh, so if I open this first cypress.spec.js file or maybe this sample one you will see we are using every time a CSS selector right so by default it takes CSS selector and it does not support XPath so most of the times as we know we are comfortable with xpath so what if you want to use xpath in cypress how we can do that let's see this so what i will do i will copy this just to save some time and maybe i will rename this file i will call this as login.spec.js file okay and let me remove yeah, the first two test cases because our main intention today is to understand how to use xpath so now if you see we are using cy and the moment i say cy we are using something called get right and it uses css selector so if you just open the documentation you will see this get method which is get command and it accepts selector alias and with different options right so here you can use css selectors which is equivalent to jquery selector but what if I have to use XPath here? So officially there is no support from XPath uh, directly when it comes to Cypress. But you can actually use XPath with the help of a plugin which is provided by Cypress. Okay. It's very easy and very straightforward. Hearty uh, small configuration and one option that you have to change. So let me show you how. So click on the plugin part. And if you just scroll down we have a couple of plugins right. We have plugins for preprocessors we have development tools right and we also have for uh, custom commands so if you see this we have something called cypress xpath it adds xpath command so the moment you click on this it will redirect to this github repository where they have explained how you can use this with the cypress so first thing that you have to do that you have to install this uh, which is cypress hyphen xpath okay so the moment i copy this or you can click on this you know copy option come back to vs code or if you're using command prompt okay you can directly do it from command prompt as well in vs code we can directly start this terminal so i will start a new terminal and this is the project location right so i will simply paste this and the moment you run this okay uh, let me show you this package.json file as of now we have only one dev dependency which is main cypress at the time of recording the cypress version is 9.3.1 and the moment i install this dev dependency you will see cypress xpath here as well okay so hit install it will take few seconds depends on the internet connection and yeah so you can see updated one package and yes it's already available cypress hyphen xpath and the version is 1.6.2 at the time of recording now how do we use it so let's see the documentation so first thing uh, we have already installed second is you need to include this in your support and we have a index.js file right in the support folder so we just need to use this require inside uh, codes we have to use cypress hyphen xpath so copy this come back you can see the support you will get by default this with cypress open this and you will also find something called index.js file no need to do anything just come to the last line of this index.js file paste here and press ctrl s and now you can actually use xpath here so earlier we were using cy.get right so in the cy.get use you can pass selector and you can continue but now after installing this you can also use c uh, cy.xpath and get one or more dom element by using xpath selector and this is how you can use it so let's see how do we use it uh, so in the previous login script we use everywhere css selector right so instead of that now i will change this to cy dot xpath i will use xpath then i will use dot type okay just a login so i'm using this orange hrm 
I will share this link in the description. You can also give it a try. You can try with your own application as well. So I will first of all use this cy.visit. Okay. Anyways, we have added this in the cypress.json file, but for simplicity, I have added again. Now, suppose if I want to write XPath for this, now either I can write XPath manually, right? I can use this Chrome developer option directly, okay? Or I can use one very interesting and useful plugin designed by Sanjay, which is Selector Hub. Here you can get this XPath automatically, okay? So the moment I select this particular element which is login you can see i got css selector xpath index pieces path and we have a very interesting tool called test trigger you're getting for the same as well as of now i can copy this and now i can directly use it here now it is double quotes double quotes so i will just put this as single quotes otherwise it will be treated as a separate string okay so now this is one of my xpath for username Similarly, let me also do this for password and login button as well. Okay. Let me copy this. Use cy.xpath. I'm assuming that you are familiar with xpath. If not, then please check out my previous videos where we have discussed about xpath. And I will give you the link in the description as well. Again, I will type admin123, which is the password for this application. Then finally, I have login button. Okay. For login button, again, we're getting XPath. But if you want to write your own XPath, you can use input, which is basically input tag, right? Now you can see I have multiple options. I can use name, I can use type, I can use value. Let me use this value. Right? It's matching. So I can copy this. I can use cy.xpath. And in double quotes, I can paste here and I can say dot click now I will save this come back to Cypress and this is the one that we created now right let me run this it will run by default on Chrome okay it's opening the application and yes can you see it did the login and since we entered the correct credential it is able to log into the application so now if you just do the logout and just see here the moment i use xpath we are able to do type then xpath again which is password then for type then again one more xpath which is for this login button so very quick video uh, but very interesting and very useful so those who have a lot of exposure on xpath and they want to use xpath with cypress for them it's very handy so only two things you have to do first thing you have to come back to your terminal and you have to use npm install hyphen d cypress hyphen xpath which will install one package for you you can cross check in your package.json file you will find under dev dependencies and once you're done in the support folder you will find something called index.js file there you can add require inside require you can pass cypress xpath and you can reload your visual code if you're not getting this option but automatically it comes 99% and you can start using cy.xpath but if you want to continue with css selectors or jquery selectors you can continue with cy.get okay it's a very quick and short video but very useful so please give a try and let me know if you face any issue in this in case if you like my content and if you want to support then please subscribe this channel share with your friends colleague who are learning cypress and if you face any other issue, you feel free to send email as well to my email, which is mukeshudwani at the redlearn-innovation.com. And I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.